Hey guys, I'm Adam and welcome to the Art of UAV. Today we're going to do an unboxing on the Isheen Wizard X220. It's not actually my quad, it's, uh, it's been delivered to me. Um, it's actually for a friend, he's asked me to do a review on it and how to set it up. So yeah, much appreciated for letting me do this video mate. Um, what I'm going to do is just do an unboxing, what I like about the quad, what I don't like about it and the price point. Uh, later in the week we'll get a second video out which will show you how to set up your controller to your receiver and how to link it to your PC to use Beta Flight. Um, also, I'm going to do a, uh, a flash on the firmware, so if you're using an older version of Beta Flight, and then we'll put it onto the newest version that's available now. Uh, it's a little bit daunting if you've never done it before, but hopefully the video next week will help you do that. So yeah, I think the best thing to do is get inside the box like we normally do, and just go from there. Awesome. So the Isheen Wizard. Here it is, guys. Quick look at the box. Not much to see. box is a little bit bad because it's come from China to the UK, uh, so it's at a little distance. Uh, it's not a very premium box, but it's just a box to get it here, really. Uh, inside here should be a receiver, battery, and a charger. Um, this is a Mode 2, so it's left-hand throttle. That's what we use in the UK. Um, and also, you get a, a pack of uh, props. I think there's 10 sets in there, which is great. Um, so, yeah, these are just 5-inch props, King Kong props. Um, I would swap them for something else, but, you know, if you're just getting started, you know, you're going to go through props really quickly. So, yeah, that's really nice. They give you quite a few props there to get going with. Um, let's go inside the box then. <clears throat> Put this box out of the way. So, your receiver. So, this is a Fly Sky FS uh, i6. Straight away, it feels quite cheap. Um, you probably won't see that on camera, but it's not not overly that good quality. Uh, it'll do the job. Uh, I'll get you going. Uh, gimbals feel all right. Feel quite smooth. So yeah, not too bad. Let's quit looking at batteries. Okay, so it's just AA batteries. You can't put an ex uh, an external lipo battery in there. Uh, but they have got a uh, a port here to put a cable in and uh, to a USB so you can plug it into your PC, uh, download some simulators, some racing sims, and yeah, you can use the, the controller to do that, which is pretty cool. Um, it's got all the buttons you're going to need for just racing, so yeah, I mean, it'll do the job. But um, yeah, let's overall look at that. Like I say in my next video, I'll go over how to set up the controller and the receiver and go into a little bit more in depth on this. So let's move on. All right, let's go through the battery. So this comes with a 3S battery, 1,500 milliamps. Um, yeah, straight on 4S, guys, if you want to have a bit of fun. Uh, you know, if you're a beginner, this might be all right, because uh, it won't be as quick. But uh, let me just get a 4S and compare them. So what I would recommend is a 4S uh, 1,300 milliamp battery. You can sort of see down there. Pretty much twice the size it looks, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, this is going to put so much more power into the quad. But uh, yeah, you've got a free battery just to start with. All right, what else we got? Charger. There's charger manual in there. Don't need that. Never look at manuals. Uh, yeah, really cheap charger. I really recommend changing this straight away, especially 4S because it's not going to work on 4S. It's only a 2-cell and 3-cell. Um, but yeah, that'll charge up these sort of batteries. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of these chargers because I like to put mine into storage mode. It doesn't give you them features. Uh, also, the plug. It's, uh, it's not for the UK, so I would have to get a converter on there. But if you've got a couple of quid or if you've got another LiPo charger knocking about, then yeah, happy days. But I'd, uh, yeah, I don't like that. Binding pin, that'll be for your receiver, so we can bind the, uh, the receiver to the controller. I'll show you how to use that in the next video also. Uh, some zip ties, I'm guessing these are just for just to put some cables, tying some cables up your, your, your antennas off your receiver, so you could put them onto the, onto the frame. Your antenna, uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that already. Again, that'd be something I'm swapping out, but we'll go over that in a little while. Uh, some extra bolts, always handy to have. They're easy to uh, to cross thread or you know uh, round off your bolts. So just getting a few extra ones um, is handy. There's your bolts for on top of your your, your props. So you probably have two either side here and two that way. Um, they will go one way and the other ones will go the other way, so yeah, we'll, we'll look at them later. Some uh, foam feet, so that'll stop some impact if you come into land, put them underneath on the arms, I'm guessing. Uh, you've got some feet there, so that's kind of handy. 
what else is this? Oh, a couple of little wrenches, carbon wrenches that they've thrown in. That'll be just to tighten your props up and to tighten your antenna. So yeah, overall you've got a few bits there. Uh, all right, okay, cool. So that's it. So let's just get rid of all this stuff for the moment. And take a look at the quad. So here it is. So the wheelbase of this is 220 millimeters. Um, I'll just give you a quick close up of the quad so you can see it. Look at the purple. Purple looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, so yeah, nice looking quad. Um, I, I don't know the weight of it, so that is something you'd have to research or check out another video. Um, I haven't got no scales at the moment, so yeah, I'm not quite sure on that. Um, but overall, yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, feels pretty sturdy. I'm loving this. So you can replace the arms if you snap them instead of having to replace the whole carbon bottom frame. So yeah, that's quite nice. Um, yeah, um, 20 amp uh, ESCs. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. A bit closer for you. So yeah, that's plenty to run a 4S battery through. Um, your motors will hold out as well. These are uh, KV uh, 2300. Good for the four S will be fine for them. They're not going to be the fastest motors. You're not going to get that for the price, but definitely, definitely handle a four S battery on there. Um, I'm not going to go inside. Next video I will because I'll have to show you how to set up the receiver inside. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll go over that a little bit more with you. Um, but yeah, so this is your your battery, and um, and then there's your antenna fitting. Uh, I'm not a big fan of these as well, these little rubber grommets over the antenna. I always find I always like a good solid connection with your antenna so it doesn't come loose or fry anything when you plug your battery in. So that might be something you might just want to remove, get a little knife under there and just pop this off. Um, I'll just make sure the antenna goes down uh, a lot more secure. Uh, camera, yeah, it's got a little cap on the front. Uh, I haven't heard great things about these cameras, so that would be a, an upgrade for me. That's uh, one of the uh, CMOS um, 700 TBL uh, cameras, PAL cameras. Uh, the quality is not very good. Um, I would recommend if you've got a bit more money and you want to upgrade this straight away, get yourself a little Runcan Owl, uh, the little Owl Plus. They're really good cameras. I'll fit nicely in there. Uh, yeah, and you'll get such a better quality picture. Uh, antenna wise, so let's get the antenna out of the packet. Let's just see how good this actually goes down. Okay, well that doesn't seem to want to go in there pretty good, so there's not much thread to go down on. Yeah, uh, I'm not keen on that e-sheen. Um, always make sure before you plug that battery and you've got that antenna on, but to me that doesn't feel as good as it wants to be. I'd pick up, uh, if you want to upgrade these, get some Onways uh, 5.8, uh, yeah, the uh, RRP uh, SMA males, that'll go straight on there. Um, and then yeah, it'll be a bit better. But yeah, it's gone on, but get your wrench on there just to make sure that's tight. But I don't quite like that rubber grommet. It just feels like it's uh, stopping me getting fully down on it. So yeah, um, straight away, I'd probably change the antenna, upgrade the camera if you want a better, it'll get you flying. But I mean, it might be something you want to upgrade if you want a better quality picture and a bit more sturdiness. So yeah, uh, I'd upgrade that to an owl. Um, props. <laughs> I'm not going to undo the props and put props on. Uh, you can check out some of my other videos if you want to see how I put props on and that and what the right way is. But uh, this is a mate's quad. I, I want him to be able to have a bit of fun as well. So, um, yeah, that's just going to go straight on, put your bolt on. But, yeah, if you wanted to upgrade your props, a really good racing prop. I like the dull props, the Cyclones, uh, the 500, uh, no, sorry, 5,046. Um, they're really good. So get yourself some uh, dull prop. Well, just get a load of props to be fair. You're going to go through them so quickly if you're starting off. So yeah, just make sure you've got some props. But the dull props, uh, the Cyclones are good. These are King Kongs. But yeah, nice colour, isn't it? All matches. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to go into that. Um, so next video, I will be opening this and we'll have a look inside, see what motherboard we've got inside there and you know what receiver we're using. Um, and then we'll do a video of uh, how to set it all up on the computer. So I'll go into a little bit more in depth on that. Um, but this was just like a quick open the box and have a quick look at uh, what we're seeing here. By the looks of things, it's got some nice little LEDs on the bottom here. So they should light up. Uh, I think they're green and red. So yeah, that'll be quite cool to see them lit up. Um, battery will go on top. So you can mount your battery on top here. Um, 
yeah it doesn't seem like you put it put it on the bottom all these bolts and stuff so yeah top battery i always quite like a bottom battery because it just feels a bit more sturdier but she i'll have my gopro on the front of here as well um but yeah overall the quad yeah it looks good for the price you've got some half decent motors um escs are really good um antenna is a bit of a shame so yeah i would swap that out guys get something different i'm not quite sure about this i don't like this sort of thing it feels a bit too thick as well rather get that signal through also look into that rubber grommet maybe removing that so you get a better connection uh camera like i say just get a run cam uh, owl plus really good camera if you've got the money for an extra 30 quid get one of them replace that um, and just some better props really and make sure you get some forest batteries and a charger uh, forest is definitely going to make this a lot more fun um, but overall Ishin's done a really good job the build feels solid and the colors are very cool some nice little parts on there for the price um, I say the controller's not that great but that's something you can upgrade as well in the future but it'll definitely get you up and flying so yeah next video upgrades on uh, the software uh, setting up the quad having a look inside and uh, sorting out this receiver so it responds to the controller so yeah hopefully guys that's uh give you a quick overall look of a close-up look and what's inside the box um, and yeah this was purchased from banggood um, but i'll drop the price and uh, the link in the uh, the description um, and just go from there awesome let's go back up to the uh, the main screen hey guys welcome back so that was the ishin wizard i'm really surprised ishin have really done a good job here uh, for the money and what you're getting is great. If you're a beginner, you're going to keep up with your friends, especially when you get a 4S battery on there, do all your settings in beta flight. Yeah, uh, I'm really looking forward to flying this. I mean, the controller is what it is. Uh, it, it's not, it feels a bit cheap, but it wasn't about the controller. It's all about the quad. And yeah, I'm extremely happy with what they've done here. So hopefully that's helped you have a little look at it. Make sure you come back for the next video if you want to see how to set it up in a little bit more in depth of the insides. Um, but yeah, happy flying guys, be safe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.